good evening, YouTube. We're going to get into this, uh, this fine... Oh, wait, that's the wrong... That's the wrong box. That's a... That's, that's, that's for something else. That's for a box break we'll do Sunday. As far as today goes... Adventures in a Forgotten Realm. And, uh, that's about it for tonight, really. We'll see what happens. People come in and they want some packs. Maybe we'll do some singles. Single out some packs. Who knows? If people join. They don't have to. I don't want them to. I don't want anyone to ever join again. just want it to be all alone. With me talking to myself and all my insanity. Ugh. Get right into it. No bop box hoppers. Guaranteed foil and art card in every pack. Let me get this. There's a box over there's a garbage can over here so I can take care of some stuff. We get some close-ups. Get these packs out. I know there's lots of people who've already done box cracking. There's people doing battles and wars already with them. Let's see what kind of value we can hit. I don't even know if there is any value in this set. Only thing I want out of it's a sword. And I kind of want to collect all the land showcases. That's just to go in a binder, though. I'd, I'd never put one in a deck. I don't know about you guys, but... Let's see what we can pull. Let's get it. Let's go. How's everyone's night? I'm sure by now you guys have seen most of this stuff. Our first showcase card. A Pegasus. Kick in the door. So is there a legendary creature? I haven't looked into this because that's just weird. Common, common, uncommon, 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 another common, and then back to an uncommon, and then into a rare, into a mythic foil Tiamat, huh? Wow, I wonder if that's worth anything. Oh man, what am I doing? Let's get let's get some color on this. There we go. Now we got some color going. And then a uh, a mine. All right. Off to, off to a relatively alright start. This card looks a bit like King Ghidorah, but, you know. Progenitus deck, maybe. Alright. This is a stats sheet for a creature for D&D. &D. And the creature. Um, looks like a card straight out of where the wild things are. Dijon Windseer. Alright. Instrument of the Bards. The Drop. Just a foil. I'll put that over here. And then uh, Cradle Guard, huh? Neat. List card. Put that over there. Hello, my one and only viewer. Feel free to say hi. I don't uh, record and edit, guys. Sorry for the, the rough hands. I, I work for a living. So we got Bulet. Hey, babe, come here real quick. I want to show you something. And obviously... The creatures art card. Look at the back of these art cards. They've got the monster statistics oh, from D and D. And then, look at these showcase cards. Those are showcase cards. What the, what are you saying? I can't hear you guys. Oh, you got the grasshopper. He's a big fucker. I don't want to leave. You don't want to leave the house. Uh -uh. No. Throw him outside, yeah. <laughs> into oh, the into I the cold he goes. Cards. Into the cold, the grasshopper oh, goes. He's now he's hopping all over the place. Never a dull night. Oh, yeah. You guys probably want to see the showcase. Criddle, Baldur's Gate. 
showcase card. You got a couple uncommons. And then Tasha's Hideous Laughter for a rare. Ooh, two rares in this pack. Forsworn Paladin. Rhea Fire Rost Foil. And then another card. I feel like I'm missing. Oh no, I'm not missing a foil. That's as far as we've gotten so far. Alright. Let's get to the next one. My wife's a freak for these old art style cards, so that's why I showed her the showcase. Alright, Demolch. Man. Looking at this guy, he should be a rapper. Yeah, it could be trouble. We'll see. What's up, cardboard real estate? This totally looks like something that should be around the neck of a rapper, though. Or I guess any music artist today. With their bling bling. Lurking a roper. Minion of the Mighty Cobalt Showcase Foil Little Dragon in that action Let's try it. No, nope, see every time every time Messing up my piles now, too. Whoop. It's always trouble when you just start cracking packs. Never works out well, right? Unless it does. Baleful Beholder. Varus. Plus two mace. Okay, that's just kind of funny because it's very simple. I like it. Let's see if we can get this one to go. Ooh. That one worked. Owl Bear. I've already hit one of these in my pre release kit. Blue Dragon. Ah, it looks like we got a class card, aka Saga with a new name. Charmed Sleep. That pack was very lackluster. That's kind of cool. Just sneak on to something and start opening stuff, huh? That's kind of what it did. Bruner Battlehammer. What's up, Kaz? Lair of the Hydra. Another rare foil. Grizzlix Lithid Scholar. Not a, not a, not a super overwhelming box. I, I don't even know. What are we looking for in this set? Do you know? Because I don't. Mim I, I have no idea. I was just going to ask you your thoughts on it. Um, I mean, these, obviously everyone, I, me personally, I think I like these better than the book cards. I do want to collect the book cards just to put in a binder. But, um, you know, these remind me of like the old D&D &D art in the old D&D &D books. So... I'm down with those showcases for sure. All right, Ebb and Death Dracaller. Four mana for a five-two flash flying. Enters the battlefield. Tap. You may cast from your graveyard if a creature not named died this turn. Okay, so I'm sure people have shenanigans for that. Dibs on that goblin. I need. Dibs on the goblin. You need. Yeah, the one that uh, gives plus one to all other goblins and 
I can deal a point of damage for every creature that entered the battlefield this turn or something like that. Yeah. It's pretty saucy. I, I got you. If uh, if I hit it because I did it live, uh, forty nine ninety nine special price for you. Or you can just pay for that pack. Whichever you decide. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably I'll probably pay for the pack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unless it is a $50 card, then, uh, you know, maybe we'll work out a trade. I mean, I'm close enough to Mexico. I can send that to you in pesos. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming you're the one viewer I've got. I should probably be opening this a little bit slower. Looks like Expo's watching you. Nice. I didn't hear anything back from him when I was talking to him, so I figured he dipped already. It's kind of weird to see these full art uncommon dragons, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a waste of a full art treatment. It's taken away from the, like, maybe the value of the other ones. The rares, the mythics. Yeah. Flump, Delina Wild Mage, and a Deathless Knight from. Okay. From whatever that, that set is. Uh, Throne of Eldraino. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Two set cards. Nothing super cool. My boss pulled some really cool ones, including that Progenitus. That wasn't me, that was him. Goblin Javelin the Air. That's kind of cool. Black Staff of the Water Deep. A Foiled Pixie Guide. That's kind of neat. We'll, uh, we'll stick that there. Might be a common, but still a showcase. I'm sure you've seen a ton of this stuff open by now, yeah? I haven't had time to watch anything. Every time I sit down and try and watch anything, i got to immediately dip out. I actually haven't. I've been saving the most of it for, uh, like, terror pair and stuff. I've probably only watched Matt <laughs> for 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Ah. <laughs> uh. There we go, guys. We got the biggest hit in the set, and it's not worth anything because it's fucking banned. There we go. Book of Exalted Deeds. Ding, ding. Wah, wah, wah. Is it still... Can you still use it in Legacy and standard and all that shit i no i think it got banned in standard what's the one that got banned in come oh just the whole preacher well shit if i don't know white weenie if it figures out a way to go with white weenie or life gain like it might get annoying yeah i don't know man but yeah i think it's banned in standard so I need that goblin token, bro. <laughs> goblin token? Yeah. <laughs> with the with the dungeon map on it? Yeah, dude. Grazie. Alright. Next pack. What's going on, Bruce? I would be the person to hit the band card as a mythic in my in in the box I decide to open. Dragon Turtle. Isn't that Netzumi uh, list card worth a few bucks? You know, I have no idea. I'm not from the age of Kamigawa. It's it's technically new even though it's old to me.
Oof. Come on. These packs, like, they're just opening up really weird. Look at this. They're, like, separating. They're not even cracking like they're supposed to. Devil token. Oh, it's the hamster guy. He's from the 1980s and New York. You guys in your goblin decks. Fifty feet of rope. Climb over target wall. Tie up target creature. Wait, what? Hey. That seems like a pretty good Voltron card. Aw, oh, but it's a dungeon card, so... Could you use, like, Staff of Domination with it? Untap it? Tap it again? Probably. Shame. Shame, shame. Sphere of Annihilation. When, uh... Sphere of Annihilation enters the battlefield with X Void Counters on it. The beginning of your upkeep, exile sphere of annihilation, all creatures and planeswalkers with mana value less than or equal to the number of void counters. See now that's a good kill spell. Not even gonna lie. So you can either use it early on for less and wipe out small stuff or wait till late. It seems like it'd be good in commander in my opinion. Werewolf pack leader. Obviously a chick. Pack Tactics in a Celestial Unicorn Foil. That'll go to the wife. <laughs> Do you hear that, cause? Bruce says that Nizumi is only 12 cents. <laughs> ah, list card. Mushrooms on a rock. Mimic art card. And got the dancing sword. Wah wah wah. Not not a not a super spicy pull, but you know. I do have a white Voltron deck as well, so it'll probably go on that. Eliwick, Trouble Strum. Planeswalker. Sliver at Raven. And it's a king's pet. Like, this card used to actually be worth money just because it was really good. It might actually still be really good. Oh, no, never mind. It's not the one I thought it was. People played it a lot in extort decks, but uh, the one that's worth money still is the one that gives other creatures extort. My fault, my fault, my fault. The Atropol token. Yeah. What do we got here? Uh, that would be, I think, the Planeswalker I just hit, isn't it? Yep. Ellie Wick, Troublesome, I believe. But uh, the card's Bag of Holding. Celestial Unicorn. Another class, a.k.a. New Saga. Flame Skull. Nice. The Red Dragon and Borderless. I mean, six mana, they're all four fours. Flying Fire Breath when Red Dragon enters the battlefield that deals 4 damage to each opponent. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I could probably find a use for it. Kalia, maybe? I don't know. Wouldn't be any good in my L. 
Eye of Vicina. I'm like not holding this stuff up on camera, am I? No, you're leaving the bottom of mystery, but that's cool. A six mana dragon's like, I don't know. It's too much. <laughs> Cost. I mean, if you get to play it for free with Kalia, then yeah. Just because it does have an ETB. Huh. I like that artifact. I do too. There's supposed to be like three cards that have that dude's name in it. I think there are a lot of cards. I got an expedition map from Double Masters as my list card. Am I going to get any rare list cards? Jeez. Don't be so stingy, wizards. Oh, it says I have zero viewers now. Noise. That's okay. No, I'm still watching. I don't know why it's not counting me. Uh, I don't... I'm like, thank you for joining. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it, though. I did this literally as just a, like a pack crack kind of thing, and... People want to buy some single packs. Well, I've got a couple boxes for that. Didn't seem like anybody was interested in doing any games, even though the games were cheap. Cheap games or cheap games? This is the closest I've seen any of the cards. Yeah? The camera at Magnolia is back too far, I feel like. That card's just weird art. She's barely wearing nothing. Or is she wearing nothing? Is her hair covering her crotch and that's it? I think it is. Promiscuous. Another class card. Ah, oh, Hollem Storm Giants. And then Morden Kinnon. That is a big ol' six cost planeswalker shit. Plus two, draw two cards, and then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. Okay. Create a blue dog illusion creature token with this creature's power and toughness are each equal to twice the number of cards in your hand. Okay. This could get out of hand. I could get out of hand. I can see people pissing me off with that card already. Hey, Michael. What up? What up, Dub J? How's the uh, pre-release kits beating you? Uh, this isn't pre-release kits. This is just a set booster box. Oh, you're opening a set booster box. Ah, I see. I was thinking you were opening previous kids. What's the yeah. cards that are looking like art cards but a bit whitish? Or are they just look like, are they just looking like this? Some of the art is a little toony, which is kinda weird, but Ah, I think I know why, because they are actually based on the blue book art uh, showcase cards. Yeah. Well, looks like I have a set of art cards to collect again. God damn it. Ah, uh, teleportation circle. Man, there has not been a whole lot of list cards or a whole lot of uh, packs with more than one rare. I've had a couple two rare packs, but where's the three or four rare packs? That's what I want to see. Ooh, list card. Just as I was talking about it. Dungeon Turtles. I think I've already hit this one once. Oh, but this one's a uh, signature card. Bulette. Oh, man. Nothing like getting an ooze. Yay. That excites everybody, right? 
<laughs> Orcus Prince of Undeath. Flying Trample. When Orcus Prince of Undeath enters the battlefield, choose one. Each oh, other wow, creature gets. Dragon Turtle card is so cool, man. Extinction. Weatherlight. Destroy all creatures of any creature type of your choice. Well, that's kind of brutal. I would say goblins at this point in time, because Cosmo wants a goblin. Let's kill all of the goblins. Oh, we always have a friend who likes goblins, huh? I also have one uh, in my play group, so uh, I always take out all the goblin cards and I'll beat him. I argue my goblin deck is damn near competitive. So that's what Bile of Blight is for. Oh. Hit the Desert Doom Dragon. The extinction seems like a good card. Is it a expensive card? Let me check. Another foil rare, Guardian of Faith. Oh, looks like we got another list card. Come on, baby, give me something good in the list spot. Now a five cost dragon with ward four is pretty damn good. Because yeah, the counter, the except counter it's blue. Be four extra. But it's blue. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. You have to pay extra for or whatever you are trying to use to target it. You have to pay. For. <sighs> well, it won't be good in an Aura deck. It, this is that card, guys. You see that? When you finally meet that one woman in your life, and then you just hand your testicles over to her. That's what she'd be looking like inside. Like, damn right. <laughs> damn right. I see your wife's next altar. <laughs> Make D-Wolf one, because he just got married. Uh, blood, bloodied Ghost. Now, I already hit one of those once. Man, this, this box is just bleh. Not getting the Vorpal Sword like I want. Thank you for uh, taking one for the team. <laughs> uh, well, and I don't know what to be excited for, really. I mean, I'll sell whatever opened, I can, but... Have you opened any module uh, land cards? Any new what, sorry? Any module land cards. There is a showcase card that... that uh, the land card just looks like a, a fully, very colorful, um, borderless card. Uh, I have not, I have not ordered, I have not pulled one of the showcase at all out of this entire, uh, box. Here's a wish. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I got a Helix Pinnacle for my rare list card. That's worth 10 cents. Why can't I get a Progenitus? Oof. No, Helix Pinnacle is worth a lot of money. It's like maybe five, six bucks at least. Nice. Goblin Javelinier again. This spot should be. I have Helix Pinnacle in my squirrel deck. Oh, nice. Because yeah. it generates a lot of mana, so I can use that to advantage in those decks. Gotcha. Hit a Xanthar and a uh, Paladin class. Xanthar looks cool, but he's got blue in him, so that just means the card's not worth it. <laughs> well, this card's just straight up an asshole. The beginning of your upkeep, choose target opponent. Until end of turn, that player can't cast spells. You may look at the top card of their library anytime. You may play the top card of their library, and you may spend Manda as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. It's the lesser of the sand triplets. Man. 
Somebody's making a blue-black commander deck somewhere. Making him their commander. Alright, let's do this. Strip this one down. This one right here, it's got all the heat in it. We're going to see a foil mythic. We're going to see a regular mythic. Oh, uh, no. The family jewels are gone. Again. Hive of the Tyrant. Well, I'm going to get some open later when I get my boxes. Let's see what we'll have. <laughs> One rare pack again. Seems to be pretty, uh, pretty normal here. No list card in this one either. Do we have a borderless? No borderless. So just dive right to the back. Art card. Another class card. Foil uncommon class card. And that pack was also uh, less than desirable. Can we get some last pack magic? Not that I'm on last pack. Second to last pack magic. No list card. Goblin Rogue. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Other goblins you control get plus one, plus one. Well, that's the card Cheers, Cosmo want. What's that? Yep, that's the one. lot to look at. Here's the two borderless I got. Both uncommon red and green dragon. List cards. I mean... Probably the coolest looking ones is Cradle Guard. Let's go through the foil hits. We got the Guardian of Faith. Lithid Scholar and Tyamat. I'm gonna say the Borderless looks damn cool man, for the dragons. <laughs> that extinction must have been your rare list hit, maybe. No, I checked the extinction. It wasn't worth much. It's like one dollar or maybe even lesser. Ah. Uh. I would have thought that it would be in a very expensive card because it was from Tempest. That foil mythic's like the best hit in the set, isn't it? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I think it was the it's the like the what's that called again? The main uh, uh creature in Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's the big boss. Is it Tibet or something like that? Uh, Tiamat. T I A M A T. Come on, camera, focus. Get rid of some of that light. Well, I mean, it would be probably like around uh, fifty-five dollars, I guess. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Currently, the listed price, listed medium price for the foil one is sixty-seven fifty-eight on uh, TCG. Nice. I would have been happier to hit a Vorpal Sword though. I don't know. I look looking at your hits. It doesn't look too damn bad. What are they like? A hundred dollars? Like one twenty a box? One fifty a box? 
I I can tell you I'm not gonna well, say what I paid. Tree. Yeah, he got his box at hundred and three, right? Yeah, I got these boxes at 130. I mean, looks like you probably made your money back. Yeah, but it's not a Vorpal sword. That's all I wanted to hit, a Vorpal sword. And it's just Wait, rare. Wait, you didn't get one from buying a box? I thought that was a buy a box promo. I haven't even checked the box to see if there was any in there. Hold up a second, I'll be right back. Nah, nothing in the box, but at the same time, uh, <clears throat> again, I don't want to say how much these, uh, these cost me because, uh, it's less than what you said, J-Dub. I got, I got my stuff for a hundred bucks a box. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how I remember. I, I said it was hundred and three, I think you got it. But because of, I think, without the buy a box promo, you will get it a bit lesser for the box. Yeah. Anybody want a pre-release kit before I go? Well, I mean, uh, Cosmo, do you want to do a battle? I can do a battle with you. I can thank the promo card if you win. Do what now? One box, we'll battle the box, and the uh, winner take all? Well, I mean, I can do winner take all too, if you want to. Oh, you can have a box, brother. I'm going to wait until Tuesday, probably. Oh, does Michael want to uh, do a battle with me on box? You, you, want to, you want to battle box versus box, or do you want to just split a box down the middle, three packs each, winner gets everything? I don't mind. All right, we'll do it that way. So it'd be nine bucks is all for you. All right, I'll, I'll send you a... Yeah. Whenever, dude. Whenever you get to it, I'm not super worried about it. We can do that, though. Should we keep? Should we keep the? Should we keep the 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 the, the promo card uh, a secret until the end? Sure, sure. Why not? I will be excited for that too. All right. We'll go ahead and go like this. And um, if we get Bruce? something very crappy, just uh, send it to the tree. Bruce is asking in the chat for one. Can you grab a whole pre-release kit, dude? Yeah. I don't care. You want me to open it for you, too? Be cheaper to ship that way. I know he was telling me that his, uh, his, his LGS, he traded in cards to get his stuff, and, uh, they, uh, they canceled on him. Apparently there's a, a kit shortage of some sort. Uh, Michael, I sent it you, wait. Uh, like I said, whenever, dude, whenever. These are the three foil cards. Too bad, uh, Cosmo didn't call the foil. The foil token card for the, uh, for the goblin he wants. Oh, and, uh, Bruce said go ahead. Alright. We'll do that here in a minute, Bruce. Let me, let me do this... This little uh, winner takes all with uh, Dub J. Probably the cheapest winner takes all battle you can have. Oh yeah, nine dollars for six packs and a promo card. There's nowhere cheaper. All right, so well hell, even at nine bucks, if we didn't do winners take all. That's three dollars a pack. Name one place you can get three dollars a pack. Name one. All right, Dub J, pick left or right. Uh, 
Left or right, sir? Sorry, uh, I'll do the right side. You'll do right? Okay. Sounds good. I'll go first because it's easier to remember to go left or right. Good, good luck. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you too. All right. Now these are going to be a little different because they're draft boosters. Ooh, I whiffed. First, first pack I whiffed. Zero mana. Hit the dungeon's descent. Right. Long live the king. Long live the whiff. Alright, let's see what's next. Hey, who knows? You may get the dinosaur in your second pack. Yeah, uh, a nasty thrast is going to show up. Ready for it. Boom. Skeletal swarming. Swamp and uh, a thingamajig. All right, pack number two for me. I'm behind by five. Behind by five. Oh yeah, I forgot they had evolving walls in this set. <laughs> yep. Two. Okay. All right, all right. I caught up. <clears throat> I caught you with the Elf Ranger, but I'm also one pack ahead, and we're tied at five now. All right, let's see what we got here. Treasure chest for three. All right, you're three ahead now. Uh, I need a uh, a big nasty dragon or something big and nasty, and for you to whiff on your last pack. Otherwise, this battle goes to you, sir. Come on, come on. Ooh. Planeswalker. Loth Spider Queen. Whenever a creature you control dies, put a loyalty counter on Loth Spider Queen. All right. Oh, that's a very nice Planeswalker. Yeah, it is. Damn. I don't want to lose that card, do you? I love my black. <laughs> All right, let's see where let's see where fate rolls the dice. I'm ahead by two right now. A two uh, a two ties it. A three wins it. And you hit a one. How did that Congrats, even? Bro. How did? Wait, hold on. Is the foil a rare? No, the foil's not a rare. Dude, how how does that even happen? Congrats, bro. <laughs> I I was about to give you the the plane soccer if I won anyway, but yeah, congrats, you, bro. You won you, it fair and square. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna send you all these anyways because all I want is the planeswalker. Let's see what the uh, promo card is. Ready for the reveal? Did we hit something? Yes, please. Did we hit something big and don't, nasty? Don't, don't say it yet. I want to see it on a video. All right. Ooh. Okay, the woo is good. The woo is good. I thought it's going to be like sent to the tree me or something, you know? <laughs> oh. 
Oh wow, this is a nice. Actually, this is a very nice uh card actually. Yeah, I think it's gonna catch on in Commander. I'm just sitting here going like, in all honesty, this is the first mythic I've pulled out of a pre-release kit. And um, bro, don't sweat it. I think you can keep the cards. Don't sweat it. What's that? No, um, the previous kit, you can keep the cards. Don't worry about it. Why? I got, I'm sending you stuff anyways. You don't think I've opened a bunch of stuff? As a matter of fact, I might just send you a bunch of stuff just because you're, uh, you're, you're acting like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do God this. Damn it. Maybe I'll do this. No, Michael. Do you play blue? Because, uh, I've got this Hall of Storm Giants foil promo right here. That's going to you too now. God damn it, Michael. Tell me not to do something again. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else. <laughs> uh, and that'll go uh, with your stuff that I'm getting ready to package. I'm actually Don't not going to be on... That box of Innistrad. What's that? Don't send me the box of Innistrad. Don't, don't send you the box of Innistrad? All right. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, guys, you guys ready to open it up? Let's do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh yeah, I, I, I might uh, do the uh, opening of the Bofuri uh, wish wise in one of the videos very soon. So keep a lookout for that video. Man, why you gotta tease me like that, Dub J? Right? Yeah, gotta do that video, man. All right, and soon, soon, soon. And since he wanted one, let's open it up for him. If anybody else wants a pre-release pre kit, let me know. I still have... I guess I still have four more. I thought I had... Oh, well, yeah, we did a fight with one. That's right. Good luck, Bruce. We'll save that for last. Let's we'll see what's in here. Alright. Good luck to you, sir. So, I don't know. After opening that last uh, pre-release kit, I'm starting to feel that they intentionally seed these draft packs better. Hey, Dub J, do you like these uh, these showcase cards with the old, uh, with the old art? Ooh. What's... What's that? Good luck, Bruce. It's a little mythic. Is that action. the hamster token? Oh no, that's the weapon of the icy dragon. Oh, nice card. A three cost five five. That's <laughs> a damn good card. Yeah, uh, it it flows into a infinite combo if I'm not wrong. If you try to just finish the other dungeons rather than the one that he sticks. Oh, I'm showing a borderless card coming up, and he hits the blue dragon. And Delina Wild Mage with a foil hoarding ogre. Wow, he's getting uh, quite a fair good of hits actually. I don't know about the, enough about the set to make that assumption. I will go off of your knowledge, not mine. Ah, there it is. WJ, or one of you guys was talking about, WJ or Cosmo, about how there's uh, different parts of Vecina, Eye of Vecina. Now we got Hand of Vecina. I think that's Cosmo. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's like uh, three of them, I believe. Yeah, like the Caldra parts, where the weapons are, I think the helmet, the shield, and the sword, if I'm not wrong. No, TJ, I'm not trying to get you hyped. This you is literally, correct. this is literally just dirt cheap packs. I got good deals on them. I'm giving you guys the deal. Do you want to get on the stuff cheap because you don't like it? That's probably the best way to do it. I haven't pulled a single book card. What the fuck is up with that, though? Ooh. Chattering Skeletons. I haven't seen that one yet. At least not in the showcase. Orcus, Prince of Undeath. We've seen that one already. I feel like he'd be good in a Rakdos deck. He said, I hand and Balsack of the Cena. I would believe you if Wizards wasn't already too worried about, uh, you know, lawsuits for things their artists do. Like stealing people's art. Varys. Sliver, silver, silvery moon ranger. Okay. Not sure what that's about. How do you get in? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, the pre-release kits are eighteen bucks plus shipping. We'll just say shipping is five bucks. Uh, if you only want me to open them for you and uh, send you like the rares and stuff, then it's just nineteen bucks, buck for shipping for an envelope and top loader and whatever. It's completely up to you. And then, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, I was thinking of uh, calling it a night, but if we start to pick up, then maybe I'll uh, do another box. I don't know. Alright, good luck on your last pack, sir. I see something shiny in the back. Hopefully it's good. Dancing sword, and it's just a mountain. Cool looking mountain, but just a mountain. Dancing sword. Well, let's see what the promo card was. I think your big hit out of this one here, sir, would have definitely been the Akarek, the Arklich. Let's see what's the, pr what's, what's, what, let's do this. Oh man. Token, token, token. We've seen that a couple times already. Hey, I haven't opened up one of these. What do these look like? Looks like a magic uh, advertisement for sure. And uh, let's see here. White was your promo, sir. Look at that. Boom. Uh. Yeah, Justin, no problem. Uh, I'll shoot you my PayPal in just a second. Let me get this put away first and get it marked and labeled so that way I uh, don't lose who, what, where, when, and how or ship off the wrong thing. was a pretty good pre-release kit. Oh, forgot to put this stuff back in. I'm intelligent. Alright. Justin, which option do you want? The whole kit just shipped to you? The whole kit opened and shipped to you? Or just the hits out of the kit? You let me know what you want to do. Oh, yeah, and he wants my PayPal info. Do I have a sheet with that still on it? Nope. Sure don't. Guess I'll have to write it down here. We'll do it this way.
Just the Hits works for me. So it's H-I-S-N-A-N-D-E-Z at Hotmail.com. That's my PayPal information. Just send me 19 bucks, then I'll ship over the hits um, in an envelope for you. And uh, we'll call it Square and Rare. We still have three other kits uh, yeah, man, I've got a pre-release kit sitting off to the side for you, and then four for somebody else, so. Sweet. I don't know what you mean, Mr. Unveiled, a.k.a. Matt, um, but, uh, yeah, man, do it up. Do it however you feel, man. No shout-outs needed from anybody, um. We're just kind of doing our thing here. We're not super popular. We're not super, uh, you know, uh, crazy anything here. Not looking for fans. I don't need uh, crazy people or anything. Uh, that kind of thing, so. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, huh. Justin, are you from the Kraken Packs group, or did you find me randomly on YouTube, buddy? If you're from the Kraken Packs group, uh, we'll hook up and you can ship me. Or actually, if you want, you can join the Discord and just message me. Uh, however you want to do it, Facebook or message me. Um, uh, I'm brain dead now. Sorry. Uh, if you're in Facebook, just message me there. If not, hop on the Discord. You can you can message me there too. So that way I've got your address and I can ship that off to you. All right. Let me uh, put that down here. We've got that done and out of the way. Let me get this pre-release kit of mine from earlier out of the way. And uh, good luck to you, sir. I should have probably sleeved some of Bruce's cards. I'm kind of retarded today, I guess. Oh, look, I found a pack of penny sleeves. Penny sleeves work. Not ah, there we go. Found, found a pack of the KMCs. If I can keep them in the, in the deal here, jeez. Okay, yeah, if you just look up Michael Hernandez, you'll see me on there. Uh, we run a degenerate group uh, that's not part of Kraken Packs. It's just, you know, where some of us met. So just type in Michael Hernandez, send me a message. I'll make sure we get your address and get everything shipped out to you. Good luck on your pre-release kit, sir. Uh, yeah, man, I've got, uh, looks like two kits left now, so if you want a kit, just, uh, send it on over and we'll get you all taken care of. We'll leave this as a secret. We'll pull out these packs here. And we'll slow roll your packs for you since this is your first time with us, Justin. Let's see what you get. Draft boosties. So far, we've hey, done. Uh, you guys, uh, continue on. I, I'm uh, engaged right now, but I'm still watching the stream. Oh, uh, you're good, man. Well, you're good, Dub J. You don't have to worry about nothing, brother. You can watch. You can sneak attack. You can hop on and talk shit about how no one will kick your ass in ante. You're good. All right, let's let's start over again. I got all distracted, so we got the unexpected windfall. Oh wait, you said you just wanted the hits anyway. We'll just stream through this. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's get to the rares. Get to the rares. Get to the rares. Paladin class. All right. First rare, Paladin class. Could have been better. But, I mean, for one mana, this thing actually does quite a bit. Let's see what pack two has. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We undressing the lady. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh, I see extended art. Is it extended art rare? 
It is. Boom! Look at that. The Desert Doom in, extent, or in full art, excuse me. Nice hit, sir. Foil Jaded Cell Sword, and that's it. All right. Next pack. I'd say good luck, but I mean, dang. You're killing it already, dude. You're killing it already. Hell yeah, man. Foil Phyrexian Vorinclex is where it's at. Welcome to the club. We like we like Foil Phyrexian Vorinclexes here. And alternate art Liliana's. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? True Polymorph. That's a lady squid wizard thingy. Plated armor. That's about it. Hell yeah, man. Vorinclexes are the best. If you really want to try your luck at something, I might have something for you. Hold on a second. Let's finish this guy here. Let's get to that rare. Wish. Wish it was a different card. Not going to lie. I want to see a new card I haven't seen yet. Not because it's a bad card or anything. <laughs> In your car by yourself. Did anybody see this? Should have recorded it and put it on TikTok, man. Uh, yeah, Matt, you'd be next, man. You would be next there, brother. All right. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. We'll put that with the hits because it's a showcase card. You'll probably end up with a bunch of... Oh, man. Look at that. Another showcase card. Moon Dancer. Ooh. Dude, this one was loaded. Two Mythics. One fucking pre-release kit. Hey, Justin. Vorinclex. Two Mythics. You need to run your ass down to the gas station right now. Pick yourself up a Powerball. Uh, if you hit, let me know. We're splitting it because I told you to. Nice hit. Nice hit. Last pack. Let's see what else you get. We were just talking about Tiamat's the, uh, the biggest hit in the set. So you just killed it. You slayed it. You slayed it. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's go. Yes, yeah, a dragon, dragon pre-release kit, I guess, huh? And a flump with a great axe, a mountain. Doesn't matter because you already hit. Let's take a look at the hits. You are having a great day, sir. Look at that time map. Bam. And then you also picked up that bad boy right here. Look at him. Oh, apparently Matt wants the last two pre-release kits. Okay. Let me get these sleeved up for you real quick. What's a great sound? What did we do? Did we make a parping noise? Did I fart? I don't even know. Dude, we haven't even flipped over your promo card. Let's see how much luckier you can get. Uh, oh, man. Look at that. That's a totally playable card, too. So you just hit yourself a, uh, a promo smear of Annihilation. Nice, dude. Crushing it. Crushing it. Alright. Yeah, flump. 
And it didn't matter that you hit Flump because... I mean, out of six packs, you hit two Mythics. That's, that's impressive all on its own. That's more impressive than the stupid stuff you get out of uh, uh, Modern Horizons 2. So, still going to put it in this box for right now to hold it over until I get it shipped. And just so you guys know, I'm not making money off of these. My guy just asked me to move them for him because he didn't have the means to at the moment. So... I said, send me whatever you want me to get rid of. I bet you, I bet you people will want them. So, all right, Justin with a P. Boom. We'll kick these off to the side. Well, bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, Justin, I was gonna show you if you, if you're really feeling lucky. Sunday, uh, Sunday is going to be a fun day. You want to join us for Sunday fun day? You let me know. Yeah, no, dude, good hits. That was, that was a killer box. Matt, for some reason, really likes pre-release kits for me. He says every time I, he gets a pre-release kit for me, it's, um, it's crazy insane. Don't mind me, I'm just going to take a bite of my tofu. Before I open Matt's stuff up, I can see him jonesing over there. This is uh, OG Innistrad, my dude. Well, sir, this is 2011, so you were still playing back then, weren't you? Thank you, Emma. And DJ, I got your pre-release kit off to the side, so I'll ship it off to you tomorrow. Eighteen, if you want the whole thing shipped... Um, sealed, it'd be an extra five bucks for shipping. But yes, 18 for the kit. But yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be our fun day on Sunday if we can get it filled up. <coughs> you want me to crack it and ship you the hits? All right, DJ, I can do that. Um, the Innistrad is going to be in, um, the Innistrad is going to be in my group. Um, I don't, so something you should know, Justin, we don't, I don't like to associate my group with Matt's group. I'm friends with Matt, love the guy to death, we're buddies, and a lot of us are in that group, but we play a lot of degenerate games that I don't want associated with Matt, because I don't want anyone getting mad because we cut something really good. And them think that it's Matt uh, who's let it pro, uh, letting us kind of do that kind of thing. So you'll have to um, you'll have to join the Facebook group in the uh, in the in the title 
It's uh, it's called Tear Tuesdays, and on Tuesdays we bust out Trimmy and we um, well we play Tear Pair and Ante and Dirty River and Roulette and what else do we play? We got any other games or is that it? I guess hide and seek. It's just a different form of battle. You don't know who's got what until the end, but am I missing anything? Anybody? Yep, that's the group. Roulette. Missed out on roulette. Roulette's still being refined. Roulette's on pause until I get my graphics card back. Haven't done Dark Steel yet. That'll probably be something I pull the trigger on soon. But when I when I saw this Innistrad deal, um, I couldn't pass it up, so... I bet. How's the kiddo feeling there, uh, Aristotle? You know something we haven't discussed in this uh, in this particular group? How messed up is it that somebody made a Kraken Pax MTG YouTube channel, but just switched around a couple of the words and letters? No problem, man. We'll get it taken care of here in a minute. By the way, I'm going to make you guys pause for one second. Feel free to continue chatting. I'll be back in a second. The wife wants something, and I'm going to go see what it is she wants real fast. Hold on one minute.
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. All right, Matt. Let's see what you got. Good night, Dr. Cause, if you're the one going to bed. He didn't tell me good night in my ear. I'm sad. All right, let's see what this pre-release kit holds. Oops, we might have spoiled the uh, the promo card a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. Six packs. You know, we already spoiled it a little, so let's see what we got here. Nice. Tasha's hideous laughter. Another blue card. These uh, these boxes sure really like to have blue promo cards in them. What's up with that? All right. Boom. Mimic. Showcase. Meteor swarm. Because we needed more high damage red cards, right? Well, I guess in standard maybe, but... Come on! Where's the magic hits? Show me an extended art. Show me... Volo. Guide to Monsters. You got yourself a Dungeon Master! And a foil common card. Alright. Come on, we can't rely on just the promo card. Give me a mythic. Dragon Planeswalker. A Medusa card. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Evil Elf. Nice hit. Oh, and a foil class card in the rare slot. All right, all right. The, um, the packs continue to not disappoint. Kick in the door. Whoop. The Beholder. Bugbear. Teleportation Circle. And that'll be it for that pack. And thank you for the welcome backs. Another kick in the door. Instrument of the Bards. Legendary Artifact. One drop. What does this do? Oh, okay. So, it's <clears throat> kind of like an Aether Vial. But slower than Aether Vial. And it's green. Damn. Hey. And the token for your planeswalker. One second, guys. <clears throat>
All right, last pack for this promo kit. Sorry, I had to do a couple replies real quick to some peoples. Let's see what's next. Hmm. Dragon Turtle in the Showcase. All right. Put these off to the side for right now. And then Matt, just message me on what you want to do about shipping and and your cards and stuff. Sounds like you want dice and all that, so we'll get it worked out. Come on. You already got one fat mythic. How many mythics do you want in a pre-release kit? They can't all have two mythics like Mr. Lucky Bones over there, Justin McGee. All right. Since we haven't really looked at one, And remember, these are actual D20s, not spin downs. Four packs. We'll keep your promo hidden. Ah, oh, it's a sorcery class. Wah, wah. Sorry, I say that because I'm just not a fan of saga cards, and they're just too much like saga cards. I know they're not saga cards. They have levels and stuff, but... Chattering Skeletons. Dungeon Descent. This box is starting off a little lackluster. Let's see if we can't get any of that magic in here. Do it like the Pokemons. Oh man. It's not a it's not a white code card. Oh, what are we gonna do? Just kidding. Well, it looks like we got borderless action back there. I can barely see it. Will it be something good? We have yet to see a book tonight. Oh, look at that. Boom. So, we did not open this kit for you. Um, sorry, hold on. Yours was that one. Yeah, you get this one, right? I get the other one, you get this one? Deal? Just kidding. Nice hit. If you guys want more pre-release kits, I can probably get more sent to me. It costs a little extra if I got to have them shipped. I just happen to have my son in the same town these came from, so he, on his way back, brought them to me rather than me having to have them shipped. Another, another one of these. Man, your uh, your pre-release kits are pretty good here, Matt. Boule. 
And Life uh, Circle of Dreams Druid. Celestial Unicorn. Nothing too spicy there. I mean, yeah, I just have to break down what it costs to have me have more kits shipped to me, so. These kits seem to be pretty fucking awesome, though. Mind Flare. That's your last hit, Mind Flare. Let's take a look at your promo card. And you got this guy. Seducing someone's brain in the promo slot. All right, so let's do this real quick. Let's leave up some of these hits, and then we'll get over to to DJ's kit. Dan, these pre-release kits have been better than my box that I opened. Well, we're not gonna sleeve that up. We'll sleeve him up because he's a rare. do some things here real quick that's what I'm talking about so we're gonna stick one die here slide this back down there so we only have to ship off one kit let's get the die out of this kit wow tossing stuff everywhere all right that's at the bottom of that kit you saw that there's two dice at the bottom of this. I just had to pull out the deal to get the other deal in there. You get this in there real quick. This in there. This in there. Then let me get over here. You get these guys sleeved up real quick. This mother trucker here hitting two planeswalkers tonight. Um, I am officially out of kits now, Emma. But, like I said, if people want more kits, I will go get some more kits and we can work that out. But at the moment, I am completely out of kits. We have already sold out. Had somebody come in and go, damn, I need four of those. Boom. And he just bought it all up. Let me see how many kits he has tomorrow. And if there's more interest in them, I will grab some more kits. Alright. Let me get this out of the way. These out of the way. Let me grab DJ's kit. Alright, DJ. Best of luck. You want more kits. Okay. I can go get I can get some more kits. Just tell me how many more to get and I'll have them shipped over. I can even get more boxes if you guys really want. They just have they just end up costing more when I have to have them shipped. Alright, DJ, you ready for this or did you leave already? Blue 
blue die. Alright, he's here. Let's do this. Ready? Let's go. Instrument of the Bards. We just talked I was just talking about that. It's like a <clears throat> an aether veil but slower and it changes instead of paying into it once I guess for game progression it's pretty good because you get to play cards for free mace also I could see that card being gross with sylvan uh, not sylvan library what's that card um Mimic. What is the name of that card that I'm thinking of? Oh man. That's super dope looking. White. A zombie soldier for the rare. Nothing special back here. Uh, what was I saying again? The Whirling Dagger. Is that the dagger you're looking for? Another Mimic. A Lurking Roper. Spear of Annihilation. Super good card. Come on. Or are you talking about Spare Dagger? I just put that there since I think that might be what you're talking about. Uh, white. White's kind of uh, a little bit drunk. Bard class inside your uh, your kit there. All right, where's the where's the heat here? Where's the heat? Give me the heat. Ah, finally, we got something borderless back there, guys. Pegasus. What in the fuck is with these kits? God damn it. I didn't... As I throw everything. I didn't get no fucking full art Lolith Spider Queen. I got the regular art. What the fucking shit? Oh my god. I'm giving you guys all the good cards. I should have just opened them all. Sold it. Goblin Rogue for the last rare. Alright. Bulk goes there. This goes here. And it's time for the promo card. Skeletal Swarming. Ah, uh, look at that green and black all right 
Let's get these stupid ass cards sleeved up. Another kit down and that does it for our available kits guys um, if you guys are really bored and want to want to do some stupid stuff uh, I can go grab another set booster box and uh, we could play dirty river I've got somebody who said he's in period end of story so we could do dirty river that'd be four more slots that'd be 25 a person or we could do ante. We'd need five more people. That'd be 20 a person. If not, I'm going to call it a night because I have tons of stuff I got to do. Uh, and I keep falling behind on because of things like this, which is all right. Fuck yeah, man. I'll let you know. I'll talk to my guy tomorrow and see how many kits he's got left. I gotta shoot him over some money because he just sent me the stuff. I told my Pam back if I got rid of it. So we're good like that though. So I actually end up losing money doing this because you know you spend 18 on the kit, I pay him 18 for the kit, and then I gotta ship it. it costs money uh, unless you have everything shipped like we already worked out, Matt. We'll get you your stuff shipped. But yeah. Unless people want to do crazy stuff, uh, yeah, I'm also done for the night, guys. Matt would do either or, so if Matt jumped in on Dirty River... Yeah, no, thank you, Justin, for uh, joining us tonight. Matt, if you want in, that means we only need three more for Dirty River. Dirty River, Dirty River, Dirty River... All right, well, I don't see anybody really saying much, so other than Matt wanting to spend a bunch of money, so. Or if somebody just wants to crack a whole box, I'll ship you the hits, 105 bucks. I bet you I could make that work. No more than 110. I can crack a whole set booster box for you right now. Up to you. Yeah, I got you, Russell. No sweat, buddy. No sweat. No pressure here. All good vibes. If not, I'll just crack the boxes and see if I uh, see if I can I can hit anything good. Maybe I'll do one more box. Doesn't seem like a lot of people are interested in D and D anyway, so I might kill this chat, start another one, and uh, or kill this film, start another one, and just crack another box. I don't mind. Doesn't bother me none. Matter of fact, screw it. I'm gonna do it. One more video for tonight. I'll be uh, I'll be back here.